Right, that was not a perfect lap, but somehow that, uh, you know, parking into the escape lane was. So, 10 points for me for that. And uh, let's go back to the pits and have a look at what do we do for Canada. It's a, uh, you know, as you can see from the track layout, uh, is there a track layout here that you can see? Well, you could have seen it at the start. Uh, Canada, there's a lot of corners. More specifically, there's a lot of firecrackers outside. It's Lunar New Year Eve. So, Happy Lunar New Year to everyone. Yes, Canada, there are a lot of chicanes separating short and long straights. So, you might think that, you know, straight line speed is needed, but uh, if anything, more than anything, you'll be needing a lot of cornering speed around here, mainly to be able to break and carry enough speed through the chicanes and carry a lot of speed out of the chicanes as well. And uh, some amount of straight line speed is needed so that you can overtake on the back straight. Uh, that is the longest straight before, you know, the chicken of death, uh, ch uh, wall of champion chicken. That's the one. So your best opportunity to overtake is on the back straight. And if you do get the overtake done, you get a second dose of DRS, which will help you to defend on the pit straight. Or you can use the DRS on the back straight to close up to someone and make a move uh, after that wall of champion chicane, then with DRS, better momentum out of the last corner, DRS, ERS, battery, whatever you have, dump it all into turn one, send it, and don't crash. So that's how you, I guess, overtake in, uh, in Canada. So setup, let's take a look. So what I've done is, as always, uh, taken the world record setup, uh, played around with it, tried it out, and it was wee, 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 wobbly, a lot of rotation in the car. I know why is it fast. Um, you know, if I nail the perfect lap, I think I could gain uh, probably three more tenths from the lap time that I did over here. It's a lot of speed you can carry into these corners, but the car is super unstable. I can't handle it because, you know, skill issues. So here we go, set up 29 on the front wing, 24 on the rear wing. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, medium downforce circuit. Uh, you will be needing a lot of straight line speed. This will give you that. The most important thing here around Canada is the rear tire wear and rear grip as uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, quick chicanes and uh, exit exit uh, zones, attraction zones, more importantly, you will be needing a bit, but a lot of that rear grip that you need throughout the race. In qualifying, you know, you can always make do with uh, less downforce and whatnot, you'll be quicker. Uh, but in the race, you know, once tire kicks in, yeah, you have no choice. Strategy is an uh, open one around here. Uh, always mediums, hards, hard mediums is the way to go as usual. But you can even consider two set of soft tires with one set of mediums, excuse me. Uh, or even medium, medium, soft. Uh, a lot of things are possible around here in Canada. Medium, hard, mediums now is also possible with uh, the changing of a uh, tire allocation. So I'll probably recommend that. It is a low grip circuit. So it will take time for you to get up to speed. But once you get up to speed, it's really nice to drive. 29, 24 wings. In the pit stop, you can reduce the wing to by one click. Uh, if you feel like, you know, throughout the stint, the car is getting a little bit unstable. It's always worth dropping the front wing by one in the pits. It also helps you to overtake a bit more easier in the race. Maybe 27 on your second pit stop. Uh, and yeah, you can always figure that out. Transmission, 60 on throttle. Uh, that's for qualifying. Because uh, as you can see, uh, yeah, it just works nicely. Uh, any lower than that when I try 55, I'm getting a lot of uh, exit oversteer, especially coming out of the air, yeah, the fast chicane uh, before the hairpin, you know, the, the last uh, the sec the last chicane, I don't know, uh, I don't know what turn is that called, at the end of sector 1, uh, you go to the chicane, yeah, under the bridge, so that thing, before the hairpin, so that chicane, I get a lot of oversteer coming out of that corner, one solution is, of course, you can uh, raise the off throttle by 1%, make the car a little bit more stable on the rear uh, through all the rest of the circuit as well, which I might try in my race sim later. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave it at 51. Uh, on throttle, I'll leave it at 60. Maybe I can play around with it. Maybe instead of 55, I can go 56 or 57. Will be just nice in, in between compromise. But 60 is just nice as well if you want to try it. Suspension geometry as always, no changes. Uh, minimum camber, that means right, right. And a minimum toe, left, left on the toe. So it's pretty fast it gives you more cornering speed it gives you better exits as well better entry as well so best of all worlds you have to run this no questions suspension 
quite soft and I don't really like uh, stiff suspension these days uh, especially uh, you know after all the patches they've been through and I've been finding that soft suspension really works for my driving style I like the front of the car to be very pointy so not Max Verstappen like pointy you know like to a point where you just can run circles around this uh, but pointy enough that you know when I turn the car initially into the corner it turns in there's no understeer and I don't like to you know like make multiple corrections while turning into a corner so this helps me to get the car into the corner and it doesn't you know snap on me so in mid middle of the corner I can just rotate the car use the brakes use the steering turn the car and then on the exit I can control it as well that's how I like it so this suits really well for me one one on the rears as always this is a tip for all tracks everywhere throughout this game keep the rears at one it is the best way to go gives you best traction and pretty much stabilizes the car uh, throughout throughout the whole lap as you need it and front suspension the higher you go on this it will increase the understay into a corner so if your car is too pointy into a corner you feel uh, you can always increase this and uh anti roll bar if you feel like the car is a little like you know turning too much mid corner there's too much rotation uh, which was the case with the world record setup. I increased it from three to four. Just helped me a little bit in the corners. So that's how I like it. Uh, if you feel this is still very oversteer in mid corner, it just turns too much. Or on the exit of a uh, corners, you feel like you know the car is not stable enough, not planted enough. Try going up to five and six. You know, if it gets worse, then just come down and uh, maybe just add one rear wing, and your solution is found. Ride height, eh? I didn't really change much again. Six on the front, just nice around here. Uh, doesn't induce too much understeer. It, if anything, the car is still very pointy. I could go up to seven, increase my three-line speed a bit, but I don't want that. I want to be quick in the corners. So six is just nice for me. Four on the rear right hand, also just nice. I tried five, eh, not much of a difference. Uh, four is just uh, a bit more smoother on, on traction. It's if, you, if you have a smooth foot, four will do well. If you have a rough foot, probably you want to lay down the power more aggressively five may be the way to go and it's also giving you a bit more clearance on the curbs around here if you're going to be quite aggressive with that brakes 151 51 brake bias because around here i want to protect my rear tires in canada the rear tires do go off uh, much quicker than the fronts um, and you lose a lot of traction around here once your rears go off so 51 right off the bat uh, to save the car the rear tire from the set in the setup itself in the race you can go up to 52 53 54 55 even if you feel like the race like very very oversteering in the pits drop your wing so that you know it helps your rate tires again tire pressures uh, now this is one trick that you can use to increase the tire life on the rate tires normally i like to run two clicks uh, around any track uh, but especially for canada i'm running three clicks here just because that extra click of pressure helps to preserve the tires just a little bit more not too much just a bit more no issues with tire temperatures around here from what i tested early on uh it's it's okay as long as you're smooth you know you're not like you know snapping too much you're not like uh, sliding on exits drifting then you should be fine uh, with the amount of downforce that you carry you shouldn't be sliding anymore and uh three on the rear uh, pressures just nice i feel any more than that i feel the car was a little bit too pointy for my liking and this way, you know, maybe the first two, three laps, the car might be a little understeering uh, on the race with heavy fuel. But as the rears start to wear out, you know, the tire wear kicks in, the rears will wear out a bit more. Uh, it will generate that oversteer that, you know, kind of balances out the car. So start the car with slight understeer in the race. Uh, eventually, you know, the balance will shift rearwards because of the rears wearing out a lot more. So there you go. This is, um, excuse me, this is the summary of it, 28, well, 29, 29, 24 wings, transmission 60, 51, right, right, left, left, geometry, suspension 31, 41, 64, again, you can adjust this as you like, brakes 151, always recommend going 51 around here, qualifying in race, tire pressures, minimum on the front, gives you best grip on entry and everything else. Uh, you don't really have to worry about front tire wear it's the rears that you have to worry about so three clicks on the rear if you have overheating issues you can go down uh, in qualifying again if you have overheating issues you can go down even more so always make use of your first run to test things out if your tires are overheating you can come in and drop the pressures for qualifying in the race keep it as it is uh, two clicks is safer 
to run uh, three clicks four clicks will make sure your tires wear out even less if you can manage it so there you go for the rain well uh, if it's uh, gonna be a mixed condition race i'll say just uh, go at least three four clicks higher on all wing levels so you are quick in the inters and also the dries uh, you will be slightly compromised but you know you want to make sure you are quick enough in the wets otherwise uh, you can't manage it you know um if it's full inters of course go for higher downforce just raise them in equal amounts so you know if you raise the rear by five raise the front by five as well maybe one click extra for the front because it's a bit more understeery uh in the rain so that's how you do it if it's gonna rain full heavy full heavy rain maybe even more two clicks two clicks so uh, you'll be fine for the race uh that's about it and uh yeah transmission for the race in the rain yeah maybe you can put it down to 50 and uh, on throttle you can always reduce it to 55 just to give you a bit more turn in uh, on power yeah there's nothing much you can adjust if it's going to be a mixed condition race i'll definitely recommend raising the right hand one each uh, just to make sure there has enough ground clearance for your car you don't aquaplane uh, in the wets if it's going to be full right keep it as it is uh, full wets maybe you can even go you know ex an extra click on the rear uh, maybe to six otherwise leave it as it is on default tire pressures in the wets uh, if it's going to be full wet race uh, or full interest race gonna ra be rain all the way it's definitely worth raising the pressures by at least one click each so that you get better tire life uh, your tires wear out less and also they they stay warmer for a lot longer uh, provided you know uh, it's gonna be a ra rainy race throughout the race if it's gonna dry up, I'll then uh, then keep it as default because once the rain stops, your tires are gonna overheat and you will be losing a lot of time on track. So yeah, that's some tip for you. Have fun out there in Canada. Uh, stay away from the Wall of Champions. Uh, otherwise, uh, well, you won't be a champion of the race. Right, take care, everyone. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video, which is actually gonna be you know three more videos uh four more videos regarding that overall setup thingy how to set up your car so that as well will be somewhere in the description or at the end screen have a look at that i finally took my time out to you know explain every single page how it works a lot of you know babbling bb blabbly and uh, a lot of theoretical stuff how does it work and how you should apply that in the game and also applicable to some other games if you really want to try it out take care everyone stay safe bye bye